to call it. Brian, another big cup for you to call. You're used to them by now. You always do exciting calls, and this one will be no different. No, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. You and uh, welcome once again to uh, Vic TV viewers. As the favourite Rasputin's Revenge comes in, we've almost got a half million dollars in the wind pool at the moment. Beautiful sunshine here. Now, Rasputin's Revenge is ready. Steamer Duck comes up. Wider out, brilliant invasion is set. Garter's coming in. Big colony to move up with all you say. Offshore Trust, the grey. Cool Credit, Infallible, Sea Rhapsody, and Notwithstanding. Now, Infallible comes up towards an outside barrier. Coming into uh, gate number seven now is Sea Rhapsody. Big colony is set. Offshore Trust to come up on the outside. Cool Credit comes into gate number eight. One of the rank outsiders, All You Say, to come in. Offshore Trust is now ready. All You Say, the last one to come up into barrier nine, and they're set for a start now. All in, ready for a start, Ballarat Cup. Rasputin's Revenge shifting around in the barrier, rearing there is All You Say. Light on. Garters also on the move in barrier 14. Racing now. They've jumped away in a good line. Big Colony and Steamer Duck. Rasputin's Revenge began quickly. Ahura near at the inside and Famous Nick. Wide out Infallible is crossing over quickly. My only vice up with the leading division and Garters trapped deep. Going forward is Brilliant Invasion behind them. Kabiri and Sea Rhapsody, he's a dream. Notwithstanding back fourth, last second, last cool credit. Last of all is Offshore Trust. They leave the straight, and the leader is infallible. Joined now by Gard as the outsider length away to Rasputin's Revenge, who shifts one off the fence. Brilliant Invasion is trapped out deep, and Ahura goes up on the inside. Wonder Steamer Duck, a half length away, famous Nick Wonder Warsome Mover, and Sea Rhapsody inside him. At the 1600, a length for the back, Big Colony on the rails, he's a dream. Then Kabiri, who's well back with my only vice, a length away, notwithstanding, two to cool credit. Offshore Trust is second last, and last of all, is all you say. There's got to be 25 lengths off the leader, which is Garters down the back. Garters has kicked away, leads four or five to Infallible, a length and a half to Rasputin's Revenge in the box seat. Over on its outside, Brilliant Invasion, two further back, Ahura. A length away, Steamer Duck on the outside at Famous Nick, another two lengths to Awesome Mover. A half length on the rails comes Sea Rhapsody, one and a half to Big Colony. A length to He's a Dream and Kabiri. Cool Credit whipping around the outside of Notwithstanding and well back still offshore trust with all you say. 900 metres out, Garters four in front of Infallible. Over on the outside, Ahura coming off the fence, a length of Brilliant Invasion, two to Rasputin's Revenge. Another two to Famous Nick, then Awesome Mover moving forward, Steamer Duck not going well, going backwards, passed there by Cool Credit. Sea Rhapsody's on the inside, well back, Big Colony, notwithstanding is over on the fence from Kabiri in front of it before the corner, and then Offshore Trust, 550 out before the turn, and Garner's joined by Infallible on the outside, Ahura, Rasputin's Revenge getting the fourth and starting to run home, then Brilliant Invasion, Famous Nick, Cool Credit the outside, a length and a half to Kabiri, Sea Rhapsody, and further back, notwithstanding, and my only vice in the straight, 350 out, and Ahura reached the lead in the cup from Infallible, Rasputin's Revenge now to third behind it, Brilliant Invasion, down the outside is Awesome Mover and Cool Credit, but Ahura kicked away. Infallible holding down second. Rasputin's Revenge can't go on. Ahura the leader. Ra Infallible is trying hard, then Rasputin's Revenge, but it's Ahura's Cup. Ahura wins the Ballarat Cup two and a half lengths. Second placing Infallible. Third in Rasputin's Revenge, then Kabiri. Cool Credit, Awesome Mover, Big Colony, and well back, Brilliant Invasion. With it notwithstanding, who didn't really run on. Next famous Nick, then Garters. Offshore Trust, well back with Sea Rhapsody, all you say. My only vice, and he's a dream, has run last. Oh, here's one called up, and that's Steamer Duck. Number 11, Ahura, is the winner of the Healthy Diet Triad Ballarat Cup. Number 11, Ahura, ridden by the jockey of the moment, Peter Mertens, who just is riding winner after winner. And that horse always up third, second, and fourth. Pulled out before the turn, hit the lead coming down the hill and held them all at bay. Number 11, Ahura, the winner of the Ballarat Cup. Second placing goes to number one, Infallible, ridden by Neville Wilson. And third in, number three, Rasputin's Revenge, ridden by Elf Matthews. The winner, Ahura, kicking away at the 300 metre mark from Infallible, who was boxing on strongly under the top weight. Rasputin's Revenge was out, but not running on strongly, and there was not a horse behind that was gaining any ground. And Aurora has gone to the line and scored comfortably by about two and a half lengths by the former champ Grosvenor from Tidy, raced by Katie Kirk, 
Mrs. S. E. Ellis at Bacchus Marsh is the trainer, and Peter Mertens is the winning rider. Number one, Infallible by Pax in Bello from It's a Girl, Gerald Ryan and Neville Wilson combining, and number three, Rasputin's Revenge by Pompey Court. There you have Mara the numbers, 11, 1 and 3 for the 1992 Healthy Diet Pride Ballarat Cup. We'll be back shortly right after this break.